London when Dominic Calvert-Lewin headed the ball into the net, Everton fans were ready to start celebrating their team's Premier League status being preserved. A combination of astonishment and relief sent supporters flooding onto the Goodison Park field on Thursday night. From two goals down to Crystal Palace, Everton was leading 3-2. There were still at least five minutes remaining. The field had to be cleared before the fans could spill back on at the final whistle. Sure, the Merseyside club's stay in the top division will extend to 69 years. The outpouring of joy saw the grass covered in blue shirted fans carrying smoke grenades as the players remained pitch side behind security. In the mayhem, Palace manager Patrick Vieira looked to be goaded by an Everton fan before he kicked out. While Everton is safe, it will be only Burnley and Leeds trying to avoid being the third and final team relegated in the final round of the season on Sunday. At halftime, we are not dead and buried, Everton manager Frank Lampard said, but anyone on the outside would say that it is the Carrick. Chelsea will head into the finale with third place already secured by drawing 1-1 with Leicester on Thursday. Everton come back the Everton fans made their presence felt outside Goodison Park with blue smoke shrouding the streets as the teams arrived. There wasn't anything to celebrate inside after the 21st minute when Jean-Philippe Mateta got in front of defender Vitaly Yimakulinko to head in for Mebera and Chiesa's free kick. Everton was enraged that Jordan Ayew was only booked for a scissor tackle on Anthony Gordon before he scored Palace's second. Mateta's cross was punched by goalkeeper Jordan Pickford only as far as Wilfred Zaha. The follow-up was parried and Everton midfielder Abdullah Dukor failed to clear the danger before I evoked into the net. Everton's 5-2-3 formation meant it was being totally outnumbered in midfield. Having briefly switched to 4-2-1-3 late in the first half, Lampard changed again, with Dele Alli and Alex Iwobi now in his third role of the night, deployed as two attacking midfielders with Duke or holding. It sparked a comeback that began in the 54th. Mason Holgate nodded down a free kick and Michael Keane met it with his weaker left foot. Pickford's one-handed save from Monty that kept Everton in the game. Rich Arlison leveled in the 75th minute and Calvert and Lewin headed Everton in front in the 85th from Demarai Gray's free kick. What a roller coaster football is sometimes, Calvert Lewin said. It is why we love the game, why the fans love the game. In an ideal situation, we wouldn't be in the position we were, but then it produces moments like that, and you can go from low to high so quick. I don't think I'll sleep tonight, or maybe I will.